One of the big reasons Fortnite became one of the biggest games on the planet is because it could run on anything from phones to finished laptops to crippled down desktops. For this reason, everybody had the impression that the game was graphically basic. But as we head into next year, the shooter first released in 2017 has shifted into another gear. Epic Games has just announced that at least on a select few platforms, the game has just been the recipient of some of their fanciest tricks from Unreal Engine 5.1. This includes Nanite, which is responsible for the highly detailed architectural geometry we see in the game. There is also Lumen, which takes charge of reflections, which provides high quality ray traced reflections on glossy materials and water. You also get virtual shadow maps as well, which allows for highly detailed shadowing and temporal super resolution or TSR, which allows for high quality visuals at high frame rate. Maybe that's a lot of jargons. I think the best possible way will be for you to see the gameplay for yourself. Here's a gameplay demonstration on PC. I know there's going to be a couple of weirdos who think good graphics and photorealism needs to be the same thing. Bravo. Keep smoking. You know what? For normal people, it's wild seeing this kind of lighting effect turn up in games as widely available and accessible in games such as Fortnite and also the level of improvements they make. Now this is epic flexing and advertising their work on engines within their work on games, but whatever, still looks great. For reference, at least in terms of environment, Epic say that now individual trees have around 300,000 polygons whilst every single stone, flower and blade of grass is modeled. If you're wondering what the catch could possibly be, well, this is it. These features won't be appearing on all versions of the game. Anyone with a PS5 can enjoy them. And it's the same story for folks with an Xbox series. PC players can also make use of the new features, but they will need to turn them up in the game settings. And Epic also recommends that only those with RTX 2080 or Radeon 5700 cards or better should really be bothering. Okay, if you love this video, then the sub to my channel will be very much appreciated. See you in my next video.